story. I um, am a twin mom. My girls are about 22 months now, and I am going to show you how the twin go works. Um, I was lucky enough, I purchased one of the production models before it was publicly released, and I've now got the production model as well. So you may have seen my other video with the production model. It's a little bit different. Um, the general concept is very similar to any other soft structured carrier like an Ergo, Boba, Tula, etc. It's got a body panel, shoulder straps, and a waistband. If you were using it in a solo carry, just one baby, you would put it on just like any other carrier with the waistband around your waist. Baby centered on the panel and the shoulder straps over your arms. However, special to the Twin Go is it has an attachment panel as well. Um, again, it's got a structured waistband. This will clip into the waistband of the main carrier. And rather than having its own set of shoulder straps, it just has buckles. Um, it does separate into two separate, entirely usable on its own carriers for two people to wear both kids at the same time. Um, and that is possible by the attachment straps that come with it. So these would buckle into those shoulder buckles instead of it buckling into the main panel if you were using this entirely separate on its own. Um, but I will show you how to use it in tandem mode because that's what everyone is super interested in. Um, you would take the blue panel, which is the main panel, and that goes around your waist. Instead of buckling it directly to itself, you take the attachment panel and that will buckle here and then on to this side. Each buckle has a small elastic safety loop that should be used around the opposite buckle just as an extra safety to be sure that, you know, nothing goes wrong in case something fails. Um, so the way that I prefer to get babies on is a Superman toss for the back. You can also hip scoot if you're more comfortable with that. My girls, as I said, are 22 months. They've been worn since they were about two weeks old, so they're mostly compliant <laughs> and used to being tossed on my back and going up in a carrier. <laughs> I'm going to start with Kaylee. She is about 30 pounds. I'm very sad that I took Candy Crush away from her. So she's going to go on my back. You can use the Twin Go with babies of different sizes. The larger should be on the back if there's a difference of about three pounds or more. So Kaylee is going on my back. toss her back there. And always make sure you keep a, bit, a hand on them to um, make sure that they're safe and they're not going anywhere, and you can pull that panel over her back. Once you do that, get the shoulder straps on, and I kind of bounce her down a little bit to be sure that she's as far down into that panel as possible, and then I tighten up the safety, or I'm sorry, tighten up the shoulder straps, um, and then always use the chest clip to make sure that the shoulder straps aren't going to fall off of your shoulders. And she's totally secure back there. And now it's time to put the front baby on. Miss Alyssa is about 27 pounds now. 27 and a half. She goes right here on the front, centered over the front panel. And keeping one arm on her at all times. Take the shoulder strap buckle. And that will buckle into the shoulder strap on the back. And then switch arms and buckle the opposite one. And then from there, just tighten everything up. And again, these also have a little safety elastic to go over each of the straps. So they are safe and secure. Again, they're about 22 months, so it's not quite knee to knee anymore. Um, that's totally fine. Once babies are walking, it isn't as important for it to be knee to knee. And even so, I do find this to be the most comfortable tandem carrying option. It's the quickest tandem carrying option. I don't have overlapping straps and buckles and rings and 
all of those things that you would have with two separate carriers. So I love this carrier very much and I don't know how I would grocery shop or get to and from the park or take walks without it. So um, now I will show you how I get them off because they clearly want down. Um, again, kind of do everything in reverse. Hold on to the front baby with one arm and you can unbuckle there and take off the safety loop. <laughs> and then switch arms and unbuckle here after you take off the safety loop. And from there, you can take her down. And she is done. And then in reverse, again for the back baby, undo the chest clip. And I loosen up the shoulder straps so that it's easier to put on later. Put back on. I loosen there and I hold on to baby from here as I remove a shoulder strap and I can bounce her over to my hip and remove that shoulder strap. Remove that shoulder strap, holding onto her. Hi. And then she can go down. And we are all set to go. Remove the safety loop here. Unbuckle. And we're all done. Um, I hope that that helped anyone who wanted to see how it worked, how to get babies on, how to get babies off. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions. The carrier is available on Twingo's website, twingocarrier.com, and from Amazon. So, there you go.